just happened. What the f just happened? See you later, nerds. They have an offlane axe with a tiny, and they have a Grimstroke. What was it? A PA? Grimstroke PA. Grimstroke PA. So yeah. everything is like very, very single target. There's not, not much AOE, not much team fight. If they don't do well on the lanes, they're going to have a very hard time. And they're up against uh, Ember, Doom. Uh, there's a Puck. Well, Sorry, not Puck. Puck is on the other team. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what I'm scared about here, though, in terms of, in terms of Geek Fam, is how do they push towers early? They don't really have such a great way. Like, their siege is going to be very, very slow here. For Geek Fam. But yeah, they, have the AM, Fam. they have the, the AM game, you know? AM, yeah, gonna, but... AM against PA, sure. <laughs> yeah. You, you could argue that PA could out carry the AM. But the thing is, AM peaks faster than the PA, because you, you, you just spawn faster. You can break around the map. Definitely. You can play away faster. And... If you look at his overall composition as well with his team, oh the ogre is going to buff him. It's a doom to counter the PA, he's going to doom you. And what hashtag has doesn't really enhance the PA's ability to fight their things well, does it? The rest of the heroes are just single target heroes. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I totally agree with you, but like, my concern here more more lies to the fact that Geek Fam are gonna they're you know have this fantastic fight. They're gonna get a Doom off. They're gonna use uh you know the Mana Void even get involved in a big fight. Use all three Remnant charges, and then they're gonna push one tower, and then question mark is gonna be inside, right back ready to fight. They don't have power damage. I agree, but why do you need the tower damage when you just need to uh, use your heroes to defend your area? You don't have to push the tower, but as long as you make sure you defend your towers. AM can farm. He's hitting creeps. He's hitting his ancients. Why are you worried? So it's more of a more of a four protect one sort of kind of play style yeah. this game. Because the way you make space is uh, obviously the most simple way is to open up the map to kill the enemy tower. Mm. But there's also another side of it, which is holding your own tower to maintain the space for your AM to farm. And I, I find that players are always uh, thinking one way. It's just one way, you know, when you talk to players in pub, they're always like, oh, we're just trying to take their tower. Yeah, they're not really yeah, yeah. thinking, oh, we are not, uh, our heroes are not uh, going to allow us to do that. But on the other hand, we have uh, heroes that can defend our area. <laughs> Definitely. I mean, it's in the name of the game, right? Defense of the engines. It's essentially yeah. a tower defense game. Yeah. And players are, I think, overall, sometimes to just very, very focused on attack. They, they forget that the game is both ways. Either attack, you okay. attack, you defend. Okay, well, let's flip that coin, right? Let's look at the defensive abilities here for Geek Fam. Right, I mean, you have, you can always, you have Doom, you can always threaten with the Doom, right? Yeah. Much like uh, Puppy, like Sheever said, you know, sometimes it's not always about the black hole, but the threat of the black hole, yes. right? And you have the, the Rubik, uh, or this Ember, they, uh, they do a lot of damage, they mm. can kill heroes, they cannot kill towers, but they can kill heroes. That's why it's easier to defend your towers. And they can clear waves, incredibly yeah. cool too. Right. Okay, okay, very reasonable, thank you for opening my eyes. It's the game of Defense of the Ancients too. Uh, man of logic. Yes, facts and logic, indeed. Pro. Uh, I do like this starting item. Surprised actually that he's opted for serving a protection, but one on the axe has, has got some value here. Uh, but offlaner versus offlaner, cuckoo versus oh. the axe. We didn't really touch about the fact that they actually went for aggressive lane with the AM. Mm -hmm. They are trying to push the AM against the axe lane because that lane is very difficult. And we mentioned earlier that uh, for the radiant drop to work, they have to do well in the lanes. Yes. And uh, the uh, K Fam is just trying to avoid that from happening. If they they don't really need to win the lanes, as long as they make sure it's 50 50, they don't lose the lanes badly, uh, K Fam is happy of the outcome. And this Puck and Grim Shrug, they both, there's a very, very greedy support though. They both need a lot of harm. It really is, and yeah. <laughs> yeah, it really is. It's a uh, position five Grim Stroke, so at least you're going to have uh, a little bit more farm there. Yeah, I guess the, the Grim Shrug is not exactly that greedy, but the Puck for is greedy. No, but I think the Grim Shrug really does excel with the items. I agree with you on the Puck. So hard, one. Yeah. And he, yeah, he has he's very fire stick. He's got seven stick charges and be alive a little bit longer. Can he get away underneath the tier one? He's good to go. And now Leaf, actually, they're going to turn dead. on to him. White and Jeff really just need to get eyes on. And there we go. A bit overkill with the fire blast. Don't mess with the ogre. No, not at all. He's gonna get the kill. He's gonna kill you. That's the, that's the problem with ogre, right? Is you can harass him all day long, but he's just gonna basically just sit there and tank so the you though. Yeah, yeah run right back at you. Yeah, it's like having an ogre, having a bane, having an undying. It really means that you're gonna be able to do well in the lane. That's why this kind of like setup is good when you have a hard carrier and anti mate. Is that gonna be a jaunt forward? Wow. Yeah, he's, he has stick, he's baiting. He knows oh, him. yeah. 
And it's a very, very good item. You got wands, actually. Yeah, tri Trilane against Trilane. This is the most important item you want to get. Magic Stick. Definitely. How about feeling, uh, feeling that one? Uh, so much as to he yeah. decides to go for a full wand, upgrading it. And looking at the other lane setup, so Doom is going to be happy when we run against the Axe because you have the Devour to, to, to get more in, uh, in exchange. Yep. Uh, axe can, you know, cut creeps, farm the jungle, but uh, at the end of the day, you're Doom, you're happy if you get the farm. Ember against Tiny, and again, this, this matchup is very skill-based, you know. Both, uh, I think both heroes can win the matchup depending on who plays the, the lane better. And as of right now, oh. Ember has more denies and Axe is trying to clear the wave. Yeah. We Doom. ate the big creep. There he is. Yeah, Doom jumping in, getting a little bit involved in that little piece of the pie. I think he, in, this, in this lane, you probably could, could be greedy and max a Devour. Let's see what he does here. It's a 1v1 lane and you can actually play really greedy. Right, because you don't even, you don't really want to be too close to the creep wave anyway. Yeah, and the heal, the regeneration actually helps you, the extra regeneration. Such greedy. So who gets the re bottle refill? Oh, it's oh, gonna be Jeff. He's gonna pay the price, is he? What is he? I don't know. Oh, why he's gonna turn around? There he goes. Uh, we'll pay the price. I think he's gonna die anyway there, but... Uh, I think that was okay. Like, I think trading his life for a full bottle for the other uh, opponent mid-hero, that's a pretty decent trade-off. Right, yeah. because especially because he just literally TPs into the middle lane anyway yeah. and refills the bottle for his... Uh, yeah, no, and because you die, you can refill the other guy's bottle if you need to. No, but he's TPing bottom, actually. He needs to help the team. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Ruby has a DD. A lot of pressure in the lane. Yeah. Okay. And he's level 3, they can actually kill one of the, especially, uh, even the Ogre is in the XL position, they have enough damage to kill him now. Uh, this is going to be, looks like maxing Devour, by the way, 3 points out of Devour. Goo -goo, popping out of the vision there, popping out of the fog rather to, to get a CS. Yeah. Bounty run time. Seems like uh, Geekfam is going to secure the bottom 2 runes, I yeah. don't think the Raiden can do much about it, but they're going to get the top rune. So 2 apiece, probably. Catapult wave gonna spawn. Under Don't really see any side being able to pressure the towers with their heroes. Die. Doom is just gonna eat the siege creep. Oh, he gets uh, one of the runes here at top. Yeah, so it is three runes for die. They're gonna scan. The, the yeah, he just needs to go to the lane. Pretty much, right? Eat the siege creep, jungle for maybe a little bit, regen back up, show back into the lane, and, and yeah. make sure Axe is not cutting it, right? Yeah. And even if he's cutting the wave and farming the lane and the jungle, it doesn't really bother you too much because you get devour. So you're yeah, getting the equal amount of trade off. Right, AM, the way with the uh, new person, with, with the persona. Such a one came out today. I'm telling you about that toy, but uh, this game, Abed probably looking to uh, toy with his opponents rather in the AM. Uh, anything good to counter spell this game? Something like two fantastic. Oh, hold up, that actually Ember is just dead. Oh, that's a very, very big kill. Because the Tiny against the Ember this game, they're both gonna look to out rotate each other. And that kill actually gives Tiny a huge edge. He's gonna refill the bottle. Mm. You're gonna look at who can control the rune. Because the hero that gets the rune, gets the bottle refill, is gonna most likely have the edge in terms of how you wanna rotate around the map. Because they both have to rotate and give space to the supports to get levels. No, definitely. Yeah, the puck even getting a, a little bit of experience there as well. It's going to be a, a big boost for question mark. Yeah. Well, he wants to force him off. I think maybe just secure deny, secure CS there that he was working on. Uh, but that is going to be yeah, a kill mid. It's a pretty big one at that. Uh, they will send who's that Rubik over in the mid lane as well to try and soak a few levels. Uh, we'll see how long Shepard decides to stick around here, though. Maybe going top instead. I always like this. I, I really like when uh, you see supports rotate all the way through the map, you know? Instead of just going mid and then going immediately back down to bottom. In, in, in cases when you don't need to be right back bottom. Yeah, you see Leaf go right back top. Just happily, maybe could use a little bit more help now. Bottom. PA, turning, get the stun, stun the white on. Might have overextended actually, KMP. Does not have enough mana for a blink strike. Has the 5 1 charges, should be okay. Just the backup. Yeah. That's a pretty good uh, uh, way to force the tiny to rotate. Even if the ogre dies, it's fine. Yeah, it's, yeah. Uh, it's space for the lane. AM is still farming in front of the tower. He's still fine. I think overall it's not that big of a deal the ogre dies here. And um, top lane, they're gonna be able to kick the axe out. Oh, well, they even do him actually. Yeah, he's dead. Yeah, there's no one to do this to help him. Definitely good tell. Kinesis is holding on to that one for long enough to end the kill. This is a big good kill compared to the ogre. Yes, yes indeed. Radiance Still not quite equalizing though for the death of Harl, I would say. Tiny has been moving around, so he's trying to give uh, space. Like, it's very important to give it to the pup he needs. 
a lot of levels, a lot of space to get it. Eight minutes rune. Rubik is here to confirm one of it. Yeah, oh, we're just gonna just be able to force leap off over. He still spawns bottom. Get a tiny hit. Yeah, no. Kill. Uh, that's pretty important. So now he can actually try to show himself and maybe TP to another lane when his TP is ready. Yeah, pop the invis. Pop the invis. Go for a sneaky kill there. But he's already, already moving bot. Yeah, he's doing the right thing. He needs to move right now. Can he get the kill here on the air? A bit difficult. It will be hard. 21 charges as well is not going to make that very easy. And there goes White Mind. Hey guys, I'm here. Come hit me. I'm over. Kill me. Please. I'm over. <laughs> I'm very tanky. As a short stun, it will be enough. Actually, oh, there it goes. Ah, not enough. He didn't get the full no. combo. Though. I was going to say, I don't, I don't think he got all the damage in, right? From the Avatar, it didn't look quite right. So that's going to be some time wasted I mean, I then for a time. I don't think they could have killed him anyway. I don't think it would have been enough damage, but he didn't get the full combo off, no. for sure. Yeah, it would have helped probably had he got the combo. I think the, the Phantom's Embrace was a bit late, or maybe he was out of cast range, but uh, no matter. No yeah. kills. It's just better trade-off for Dai right now. They're farming with the full devour, almost, I think, three points in devour, at least the last time I saw it. And then they have the AM killed. farming bot lane. Oh, he actually, actually four points. So he's going like full greed, because he's allowed to in this kind of game. Ah, he definitely is. A little call then onto Abed. He's... You know, he's pulling the creep wave over. All right. He's not free farming, but his net worth is still in a reasonable uh, position. And because this, the trade-off is the Doom is really fast. Yeah, seriously. It's uh, it's a bit of a problem, right? And they, they actually do have a bit, uh, a bit of problems killing this Doom, right? They they kind of, especially once he gets uh, a drums up or something in the face, yeah, he's going to be so fast. They're, I mean, unless you want to commit a, he's a, a coil. he's a very, very dangerous threat on the map whenever he has Doom. You know, he can kill anyone alone. And he's gonna be able to create a lot of pressure and allow the AM to farm. That's why there's this concept of uh, like sometimes people talk about like when you have a draft, you have a hard carry, and you have a space maker. It's actually more important to give your space maker a later pick so he secures his lane because he's gonna be moving and making space. So what if the carry gets a, a poorer start? Mm -hmm. He's still gonna farm even if he gets a good start. But the, the moving hero, if he doesn't get he's a good start, so he's not going to be able to move around efficiently. So it, no, no, I, I see what you're saying. You're saying that like the Doom needs to have a good start so that in the early to mid game he can be the buffer, be the space yeah. that even AM, if it's at the expense of the AM to the game. A little bit of because it's it's not because because when AM Radiant gets his battle fury, he needs 10-15 minutes of uninterrupted farm. He's in still the gonna jungle. farm anyway. He's still gonna farm anyway, Dyer's right? But you'd you'd much rather have someone to be the buffer space, Dyer's right? Like, it's it's like when you have a timber saw get back it's dumpstered and then the, the enemies are all in your jungle and even if your carry is a free farming it doesn't really it doesn't matter it doesn't, it doesn't matter, matter because after that tower, timber is useless attack. and they will go, go to your carry and exactly. pressure it's, a, it's the same thing I, I feel like you see it more with timber timber to me is a bit of a boom or bust kind of hero yeah and, you know, if because you uh, i'm talking about this because when you look at the draft right if you look at different teams draft like what heroes they're keeping for the last but it tells you a lot on how they are thinking who has priority and mm -hmm. whatnot different teams draft very very different and, and what their win condition is yeah, going yeah. to be right some they just pick their win condition and then leave it to the foil is going to completely whiff. They're not going to find anyone. Oh, they will get courier. All right. Consolation prize. Consolation prize. Uh, they will lose the tower, though. It's the siege wagon that pick up, picks up the kill with the level one bloodlust. But you see, like, the zoom is such a presence on the map right now. Like he's doing a lot for the aim is just free farming regardless uh, at this point. Amber is also having a re he's even having a better game than the AM. Even though he died that one time, he know. did. He did, but but uh, to, I mean, like I'm saying, that's just more time, more space. Yeah. Because the, the, the doom is creating such a big distraction in the game, and the uh, hashtag lineup doesn't really have a very strong team fight. They have the coil in, and what the green stroke. There's really no combo as well with the soul bind. It's just like stuff. Is under attack. And okay. once the the pipe or whatever, whatever like DKB is up on the doom, it's gonna be very very difficult for them. Oh no, this could, this could be a big kill. Oh, good luck running. Oh, actually, they could have been lucky. Now the player's not gonna last nearly enough, and uh, that should be as easy as they come. Then. Yeah, this is the uh, issue with having nowhere to farm. Like he, he just he needs to farm in a dangerous place, and Radiant's maybe his teammates could have protected him better. But this is a, a result of the map being very very constricted for the carry. There's no one being able to move around to create uh, space for the PA to come, whereas the AM, sure, he didn't, if you look at his game, you know, he didn't have a brilliant lane, but he has this Doom and Ember walking around, because they both have a better lane than him. So they have this two heroes walking around, creating a lot of distraction, pressure on the map. Even though you said a little bit about, oh, they don't really have heroes that can take towers, but they don't really need to take no, towers. No, 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 right? you're right. They just need AM, they need AM to have three, four items. 
realistic. <laughs> but seriously, right? Yeah. He need he needs battle fury boots plus Don't two three items. Scan. Manta and the other heroes are allowing him to do that. Of course, of course. No, no, no. It makes it makes complete sense. I mean, uh, that is of course with the with the caveat that yeah. yes, and, we accept and the, the ogre is just constantly do. doing this, like breaking the small, blocking the rotations, and that's his job. You know, you might see him, oh, he's dying again and again and again, but he's doing his job. No. This is exactly and precisely what he can do most in the game, what he can offer towards his team. Such because he's so tanky that they have to expand uh, an extra five, six seconds, chasing him down, killing him. Yeah, that's a that's a bonus, you know. But even if you're like, say, like a position five, like a scream show or whatever, you're supposed to protect your carry block with strong point. Really? That's, that's, that's something I really like when I watch Fear. I think Fear does a really great job of, of playing that sort of role, especially yeah. when he plays a lot of You have to five. understand what you need to do, where you need to be positioned on the map, where the enemy is going. Like you, you need to look at the map uh, as a point like, Dyer's okay, we are farming here, we are controlling this area, attack. and they need Radiant to take this area back. You have to understand when they're coming back to take the area, Definitely. and when you're supposed to break the smoke point. Definitely. Yeah, I mean, it's not going to be the fastest AM uh, Battle Fury of them all, and in fact, he's the poorest core on his team. But it doesn't matter. Uh, again, uh, uh, yeah, uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, a masterclass in Dota win conditions here by Winter. Thank you. They're playing a very, very uh, well thought of game right now. Definitely. They're not taking any towers, but they're taking... Just look at the map, who is farming where, how much they are farming, and how big of the map it is for them. Everyone is farming. It's not just about the end. Everybody is farming. Hey, you, you look at the Rubik, how fat he is. And, and here he goes, right? Two heroes showing mid with Carl and Cuckoo. It's going to force more Radiant's heroes to be here. Attack. And then the core here. Yeah, uh, they're going to they're gonna, they might oh, have to dodge the ball. Wow, he did actually with the illusion or he's still going to die. It was really cool, though. Yeah, he dodged the ball, <laughs> but... But that 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 was like uh, I think he just didn't expect that. It's just Carl doing Carl things. Yeah. He's trying to be he's trying uh, to be the hero, aggressive, yeah. put pressure. He just didn't account for that the X already had dagger, so he died. There. If the X didn't have dagger, I don't think he would have uh, no, died. No, there. No. Good control. Yeah. But uh, I mean, just you know, two heroes there forcing the four heroes mid lane is, yeah. is a serious. Uh, and no, there. now that Radiant's AM knows, okay, X has dagger. I have to play more cautiously if I don't see him on the map. Better the Ember died than the AM dying. Definitely, definitely. Dyer's but uh, still, our Doom continues to lead in terms of net worth. Uh, what does he have on the Doom? I know he's got a full drums and maybe plus one, a full time. Oh, yeah, that's wow. Because it's all it's magic damage. Attack. Yeah, it is. Dyer's top yeah, I, 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 I actually attack. thought about the, the item I mentioned Radiant's earlier, but most of them just get BKB. But in this game, in this map, Mana, Mana, he's like the front line, right? He's the tank, because Ember doesn't want to be the front line. And Doom with the pipe, he's just blocking all the tiny oh, damage, the pipe damage. Might see another blink in. He's so tanky, though. He is so tanky. He is tanky, but he didn't manage to get the pipe off. Yeah, he's barely dying. He's going to be able to get the pipe off quite easily. And now they're going to be looking to turn Soul Bind it up by two, but there's no matter. way they had enough damage to kill There was no way. My pro did not spin a single time there as they were right clicking down. Poor guy. A good coil onto two, and they're going to return the favor. Dying, man. They're going to return the favor with a, uh, a nice little Doom onto. The puck looks like Tiny could be next to go, but the move slows. Carl, is he going to commit for it? He will. It's of them two sets of combo from the Tiny. A couple of spells from the puck to actually eventually kill him, and they lost three heroes. Yep. Do that. Yep. And they, um, that was a... Uh, was it a 5v4 or was it a 4v4? I think it was 4v4, right? 4v4. 4v4, 5. Yeah. AM wasn't there, PA wasn't there. They're yeah. both same network, but the AM's team yeah. is just doing Here way, come. way better. Here comes Rubik, just threatening to kick him out of the lane. Radiance middle tower, center attack. Yeah. Yeah. And right now, the the Dyer just needs to make sure that the, the Radiant team doesn't really get the, the Roche uh, sneakily. Mm. Uh, they make sure they know, they know that. They have good vision. Look at their wards, right? They have one ward on the top area uh, around the ancients. They have one ward on the bottom area. So they know, with these two good wards, they know precisely what the Radiant team is doing. This is like perfect warding, right? You want one on the top side of the map, one on the bottom side, and then one on either of your, your entrance on the bot or top. Yeah, you know, they, they give a lot of information yeah. on rotating where someone's going, where they've been. Uh, okay, they have the smoke with this dagger on a tiny. They want to get, they have, they are heading to the ancients, they're predicting A AM is there, but AM is already out. So look at the map, they're oh. getting a lot oh, of it's the It's ogre, map. it's ogre. It's, it's gonna be ogre again, no doom. But you don't want to go on Doom? No. You, you remember what happened you, the last you time? You learned the lesson, and you actually don't even have the Dream Coil up this time, so they're going to wait, and they're going to have to look for a smaller fish yeah, this, this time. This pipe is just a very, very smart choice. Mm -hmm. Early pipe. I like it. Especially because, I mean, not only the Tiny, but when you do pick a support like the Puck, who normally brings a lot of damage at the core, still brings roughly the same amount of damage as a support early, I would say. So good. 
He oh, popped the pipe. Yeah, there he goes, popping the pipe, walking right uphill of the double toss. He's going to be able to nuke him down, but look how strong this man is. Doom is not even at half health. barely bothered by it now, my bro. Getting ran on down through the river he goes. This man, no boots, no skins, but it might get his skin saved here a bit longer by the combo. Oh, and they go. The coil actually onto two. And Ember Spirit falling close. They need a little bit more. Carl, can he escape? He will actually. He even nets himself a kill on the way out. Is now lying. No mana here. As Abed joining the fight at the talent. That pipe is such Ooh. a game winner, Richie. The pipe is just amazing. It is? Winter, Winter is so happy about this pipe right now. I love it. I mean, you're, you're completely right. It, it's uh, it's it's kind of a small thing to focus on, maybe in the grand yeah, scheme of things. Winning but winning the game for it really is here. At, uh oh, Carl. Oh, okay. See ya. See ya. That's a huge, huge pickup. Uh, yeah, that, that's a bit of a uh, might. I mean, it's a bit of a silly death. As he will not be able to kill Abed, of course, without the mana void. He used that one yeah, to kill him. Close. Almost had enough with that last, last right click. Yeah, that's that's a, that's a bit. I mean, you know, and patience would have paid off there. There's a, a, a region rune spawning bottom as if to taunt Carl. That's, that's just unfortunate there for him. Gets, gets caught up. You know, I, I, I'm always very uh, lenient, you know, in my pubs and, and especially the pro players, especially, right? Because, I mean, It'd be like the pot calling the kettle black here with them. But you know, you always get one. You know, whenever you've got like a, an addiction on your team against the Rubik, you know, you always get one. You can he can steal one black hole. After the second one, uh, that's where I that's why I start to point the finger. Why not just don't get the black hole? Well, just, just don't use it. Well, because you, you never know, right? You maybe you don't remember. You know, when I'm playing the witch doctor. I always let Rubik steal just one before I remember to toggle the voodoo restoration, right? So he does not steal the death ward, <laughs> stuff like that. But but that so that so that I say that because that second death on Carl is the second instance he's been caught. By the blink dagger the first one okay blink dagger reveal sure good blink dagger reveal you got me there the second one come on all right yeah but it's calm i guess so he always thinks that you can never kill him that's how he plays well, he's uh they've gotten they caught him here just a few times as uh the word. i mean look how aggressively they can play he, he's one of the kind of players that you really like when you're playing carry because that guy actually makes he dies sometimes but he makes a lot of space for you yeah definitely Okay, that's fair. That's only Dyer's very fair. I mean, you know, attack. better than uh, that, that Carl dies in a moment like this than the AM, right? Yeah, but if you don't have uh, like a very reliable carry, let's say you have like a, a carry that likes to fight, this kind of place up probably doesn't fit you. Because you need like a more uh, greedy mid player that can play stable, doesn't feed and play the wing condition. So it all depends on your overall composition. What kind of players you have on your team? Definitely. That's interesting. That's interesting that you point that out. See, that's why it worked so well with Raven before. That's right? what I was yeah. saying, right? Because I was like trying to remember. I was like, that's why it worked well with Raven because those these guys were a very very flip flop, right? They sometimes yeah. they they, they kind of knew. Okay, I don't know. They probably talked about it clearly, uh, you know, in the draft. But they're like, all right, you know, this time uh, I'll just kind of be balls to the walls, a little bit crazy, just running at them. You focus on. You don't have to tell him to do that. He's gonna do that. I mean, and what's great with Abed though, especially when he's on a hero like the AM, you you know, we, that's his role. He's your rock. He's gonna carry you. He's the win condition and he's gonna make sure he doesn't do anything silly. He knows his limits. He gets his farm, he doesn't die. Not gets most the definitely. Right, yeah. Gets the right items. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, well, there's a blade now, though, speaking of items you, here. You, you don't want a guy that plays carry that tries to, oh, I think we can get this skill. Yeah, yeah. He always I'm, tries I'm, to do I'm something no, extra. I mean, and, and the reason I call it, oh, you know, AM joining the fight just at the tail end, there's no spells that can even catch mm. him, right? He's full, yeah. like, full HP, full mana. It's not a problem. No that, risk. No, zero risk, only rewards. If, yes. if anything, just for showing up, extra experience. I like that you actually brought that up because a lot of uh, players, they actually don't play with, uh, they don't do the risk calculation management. Mm -hmm. they, like they take risks in the wrong situations. I would say the appropriate time for you to play risky is like when you are in a losing game. You're like you're down, yeah, right? Yeah, you have to do yeah. something drastic to change the game. Then it's well, okay well, for you to take the risk. I would I would almost argue that when you pick an AM, I think you start the game losing, right? Because no, I'm serious. I'm saying that sounds stupid, right? Because it's not like the hero is bad. It's not like you're picking punch techies as your support duo. But it's it's because you kind of you need to play a correct style of game that is quite predictable. AM is probably I mean his build hasn't changed. He's vulnerable to an undercut, right? As in, if you if you go with something like an Ursa, I mean, not, not this is a viable guy, but like an Ursa, a TA, I don't know, like a star, like something very, very quick in your face. Uh, TA is a, a way to deal with AM, for sure. You know, you know, kind of just like this in your face. That, that's kind of what I mean. So I like I like when we see this. I mean, oh, where is PA? He's oh, alone. PA is alone. They're looking for a Doom, actually. Cuckoo. Oh, uh, nice BKB, by the way. 10 seconds. And they might be looking to maybe re engage. Uh, but that'll nullify the BKB. Is that worth it? A 10 second BKB for a Doom charge? Uh, but he, he he was worried he might die there. He might get caught by the Amber because he doesn't see anything on the map. Mm -hmm. 
I think he he was right to pop his grenade. And he needed to like, actually his team to because he was very afraid. He was uh, around, alone around the map to farm, and he had nowhere else to farm, so he had to take the creeps there. Anyway, uh, to to finish off my point, where was we going? Oh yeah, yeah. That's why I think heroes like Specter uh, obviously can can really shine because Specter is also a very Okay, I think Spectre is not an easy carry to play because it's not because of the spells that he has to cast, it's about understanding what you need to do in a game, when you need to hide in the trees, which area you need to farm. Because when he, you need to haunt into the fight. Yeah, because he is actually early. a hero that farms very slowly in yes. the beginning of the game because you can only clear creeps with dagger and it's a long cooldown, you don't have a lot of mana. So you need to understand where you can farm, which side of the map the danger, to identify which is the dangerous area, which is the dead lane and you shouldn't be there. We were talking about this earlier as well. It's, uh, you know, if you want to look more into the risk management and, and carry players, I mean, Jackie Mao, right? <laughs> Jackie, Jackie Mao. Yeah, you know, to a degree, I think uh, the poor guy gets memed on, but I think one of our, uh, I think one of our lines is, uh, he's the man. He, he outsmarts himself sometimes, doesn't he? Yeah, but you can't deny he's a very smart player. I agree. That's what I'm yeah. saying, though. Sometimes he's just expecting the perfect play out of himself 100%. and well, Or expecting the perfect play from his opponent. Yes, yes, exactly, exactly, right? And that's not always the case. But uh, yeah, so that's a, that a nice little tangent. Uh, well, here we go. I think uh, we, we've covered the AM farming period. It maybe now we'll start to get a little bit more spicy. Carl. Nice. Uh, deal with Scepter. He does have the remnant back. He should be okay. Actually, no, there's going to be the call on to him. There's no saves for him either. Will they have the damage? Not quite. Oh, still alive. PA looking for a Kurt. Yet to find one. Cuckoo then to be able to uh, prevent them from chasing any further and should be okay. Medallions? Actually, maybe now they're gonna go back in as the BKB duration for the second time has been popped. Getting called up there or taunted was the uh, oh, AM. They're going for anti mage. They're gonna call. Abed now, he's gonna be out of there just in time. Now, Doom, he's gonna be uh, soul binded up by two. Oh, nice job there. They are able to burst down the X4. Another call comes down. That's gonna reduce their lockdown. Now, Doom still will die. Looks like Ogre Mage. He's actually gonna get off a bloodlust before it goes. And a stun here. That could result in a kill off of the And still, the Ogre is alive. As now, Mikael, he will be, I think, the last guy. Look at, look at how they almost killed and everyone. Ooh. And why are they alive? Again, the pipe. The pipe actually kept even the ogre alive. Yep. Casting another round of spells actually won them the fight. The PA yep. died because of that. That was actually really funny. I just noticed at the end, Abed was, he was like, bloodlust me. And, stun and, him, stun and, him, stun and, him. And you saw how he was positioning himself in the fight. He wasn't very uh, reckless. He was waiting. He was patient. He was uh, in, the, in the wings was waiting for attack. the right opportunity to come in. He's just waiting for the PA because the PA blinking pop his BKB. Yep. Why do I have to fight him now? So he brings out immediately. He waits and waits and waits Radiance and comes in at the right moment. Just the patience there out from Abed. Nicely done. Now he's gonna have another mantis. Or he's gonna have a mantis style oh. opting for the halberd. I like, I like the halberd. I like it. I think S and Y is just so so good. Halberd Radiance probably still one of the better items. I, 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 the disarm is nice. I think our panel was like, Die. and you I'll actually stand. agreed. Being uh, MKB is just so good right now. But uh, I think Halberd is, is also up there. Isn't like Halberd like uh, one of the items that has a very high win rates as well in pubs? Uh, I remember reading. Probably, that probably. Somewhere. I wouldn't be surprised. He actually tried to get a call up, but no, Abed's gonna just uh, casually steal all of his mana. You don't need that anymore where you're going, sir. <laughs> See you later. That was a... Okay, so BKB, a Desolator. That was a huge sacrifice for them as well. They went uh, BKB second item. It's a pretty early BKB on the PA. They took a fight, and they couldn't win the fight. Yeah, and the f uh, those, that's the time... The, um, excuse me, that's the 10 and the 9 second charge already both expended, right, for not really much out. Uh, I think you, you pick up maybe... Uh, a doom once uh, as in a kill onto the doom out of that mm -hmm. that's about it uh, it's not been too fantastic Radiant's out of them but there's the echo saber on tiny attack. that makes the kills a little bit easier it's still quite ca uh, tricky to catch yeah, an the, the issue is like they, they, uh, they are number one they're lacking damage right now and the team fight is not that great they don't have a, a fair combo with the soul bind that's why they're gonna have to just wait until the, the pa gets uh, really strong and then you have the double triple dagger with the soul bind later on then you're gonna start to see heroes dying, but that's gonna be like what 20 meters away before that happens. Yeah, yeah. At this point, right? And uh, Ember Spirit, he's gonna be looking to, to to be poking and prodding a bit more. I, I like the Agnum's item on him quite a lot, especially if the tempo this space. The Yules is an amazing item here as well. Yeah, counters the axe initiation. He helps Indeed. him survive against the Grimstroke, uh, who is uh, not gonna be able to survive, by the way, against the Smoke Egg. But he does tank it. They're looking for more, but the axe already blinking away. Is Carl? Really, he's really fishing for that one, but he's not going to find it. Yeah, they had a lane ward, that's why they were they knew he was around. Dying the structures thing. are fortified. But time for Rush, I guess. They've taken the whole map. Time for them to secure Rush. They have a, they have oh, a it's, Madeleine. It's, it's, they have a Madeleine on Doom, right? Yeah, Doom has seems, a Madeleine. It seems a bit tough, I think.
top. I mean, he's gonna be back in eight seconds. The TP takes four. He's still up to twos up. Uh, we'll see here if, if they can make it work. But I, I think uh, I think hashtag uh, question mark. They know exactly what's going on here. It's only gonna be a matter of if they can catch up in time here. So will smoke up his five. Yeah, Roche just about on three quarters or th two thirds HP. Make that sense, math. Uh, yep, here they go. Hashtag. Oh, Olga. Guess what? Guess what? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. That's not who we wanted, but I guess we'll take it. Yeah, BKB. BKB. 10 second BKB. The axe oh, oh, He's going to blow him up. Look at that. The buyback as well as they have found the puck, but Doom without BKB. Abed smartly sitting on the high ground waiting for that BKB duration yep. to run on out. We'll see if they want to try and reinitiate. They did blow up the puck, but really no they ulties have, drop they there. They have to try and get something when the Doom is dead here. The, the only utility, yes, I agree, but the only utility they actually used there was the 10 second BKB. So they, they Still, I think the question mark are very, very good by the like, oh, 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 Yeah, he is, and he's gonna scout that uh, he will die now. They actually have gotten a coil there onto one. The Ember Spirit buying a little bit more time there with the Yule Scepter, but the Soul Bind onto Abed is gonna keep him locked down. But they have now four question marks by his fish. Right, man, he has bought back. Bloodlust uh, might make this go a bit faster, yeah, but Roche is too wait for low. to come back. Then he, he still has ultimate. They got, they and got the Radiant team does not have BKB and PA. Look at that ward right there as well by question mark. Wow. Oh yeah, that's yeah. an amazing That's one. a very quality ward there. They got fantastic vision. And uh, we'll see what they can get done here. So he keeps going to lose three or a bit of pick. Kuku now back alive. He's trying to break the... I see the blade dagger for the Yule Scepter immediately. Roche falling incredibly low. He's going to be able to pick it up. Carl on the way in. It will be Carl. They snag the kill and the Aegis and the kill onto the Axe. Looking for a bit more Kuku. BKB running right at the enemies here as we heard another kill there onto the Puck. They have actually caught one more. It will be the Grimstroke. Abed now, I think, is uh, not quite yet in fighting form, but he's definitely Radiance more than willing really to join the fight here. He's such a, such a master from from Geek Fam. They did everything correctly from the start of the game. They were not playing uh, rashly. They were oh, yeah. look at this. They might even get a kill here. I don't see here. Right? See? Maybe. Oh, nice duel. So Abed nearly getting crit to death. But there we go. Finally getting a little bit of a stun and some help from the supports. Beautifully done. Yeah, just uh, like from start to finish, they were not taking any uh, unnecessary risks. They were playing the map correctly. They're getting perfect items. So and, patient around that Roche fight. Yeah, so and, patient. And the Ogre is just like doing everything correctly, like feeding the right, uh, in the right places, attack. breaking the smokes, and giving them the information. And AM just, he didn't get a good lane, you know, at all. But he had, nope. He like, he, he had the whole map to farm after that. Exactly, exactly. It's really been uh, working wonders for them here. And I mean, uh, the, the only I think uh, mystery they had was uh, in the, mid the earlier middle tier one where they didn't know the axe had blink. Yeah, and yeah. Was Carl got ca well, Carl got caught Radiant's twice, right, with the blinks, I think. Uh, that was the only thing. The, yeah. the, the, the rest of the game, I felt like they played the map correctly. They bought really good items oh, on their heroes. And here goes Abed. He's going to be getting a little bit aggressive. Radiant's top tower is under attack. Yeah, but can Abed. Can they find him, though? Yes, they can. And, uh, well, with plenty of other support coming on in, looking for a high five on the way out. They will give it to him. As uh, high fives all around, really now. And not bad. I think that's uh, going to be not quite uh, the whole round. Oh, five zero and six, though. I mean, he is—he's starting to get there, isn't he? Ooh. Yeah, and I can't imagine when the PA has a five-second BKB, how is he going to play it again? Exactly, because because right now, that's that's the only thing you can see. I've been calling it every fight, where Abed is standing since you pointed out. Abed waiting in the wings, Abed waiting on the cliff. They have vision on the yeah. PA. They're just waiting. Once the PA has no BKB, he's he's just food. I just I can't imagine how disappointed you'd be if you BKB and walk in, expecting the entire team in the Roche pit, but it's Radiant's literally just a doom and an ogre. Yeah. It's, it's awful. And well, there we go, Carl. Picking up a kill on one of the supports. Trying uh, to farm a bit more. I'll tell you, as a support, he's one of the nightmare mid players you want to play against because he plays so aggressive. Mm -hmm. hey, he, 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 he's like always trying to look for fall. kills, pressure you. Like he's not a conservative player at all, you know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, sure, he feeds sometimes. Sometimes he dies, you know. Yeah, he makes yeah. mistakes. But at the same time, the pros of the way he's playing is he's always getting that extra kill that no one will get. No, no, definitely. And and, and it can make some supports think twice, right? Yeah. I mean, we've all been in those games where it's like, man, this Void Spirit is literally just jumping me. I'm going to stay extra far back in this fight. Yeah, in a normal game, you probably would try to do something in the fight because yeah. you would just want to cast your spell, you know? But yeah. against him, you'd be very afraid to do anything. No, definitely, definitely. And sometimes he wouldn't even be trying to kill, but you're so afraid. <laughs> to push exactly. Out that creeps. That, that's, that's the effect, right? Like I said, like Puppy, like Sheever said, it's not always about the black hole, it's about the threat of the black hole. Yeah. And sometimes you think he's coming to kill you, he's actually just jungling. Nope, he's just jungling. <laughs> he's just jungling. He'd be like that. No, oh, yeah. speaking of jungling, Leaf is going to be able to escape out from Zephyr. I guessed incorrectly there with the Blink Dagger. Dyer, yeah, but what makes it work is all about the composition. You need to have the right composition of players 
uh, to complement each other. There's no point if you have like a, a very big risk taker mid uh, mid player, and then you have a carry that doesn't really want to play carry. Yeah, that, that plays, he just um, wants to farm fight. and be conservative, right? Yeah, you need uh, someone that farms and be conservative. Mm -hmm. You don't want a, mm -hmm. a carry player that keeps fighting, because then it doesn't work. <laughs> yeah, because then you have nothing to fall back on if your yeah. carry, if your mid gets a little bit too aggressive, gets caught out here and there. If you're to make some good plays. Yeah, yeah. If you if you have this kind of carry, you would be looking for a greedy mid player. Oh, like this. Yeah, Geek Fam. Uh, like you said, they they've been playing a very patient game, and uh, it's definitely a bit of a slower one with a PA uh, versus an AM. But it's a very clean one here. They're yeah. not leaving it up to chance. Giving uh, giving and hashtag question mark the respect. right now because of how much it revolves around oh. the carry. It's like to win a game, you have to play a very clean game as a carry. You know, because both carries are going to be buying to out carry each other. And if you make one mistake. You lose the game as yep. a carry. Oh no, oh not bad. He's gonna take a chill build though. Oh, everyone is here though. And Carl's is up, but everyone's TP away to the trees. PA will get the Yules after treatment. Now she does have a BKB, but she's gonna get a tip off from Carl before she even lands. And that's gonna be another kill there. Yeah, actually, uh, surprised that he actually saved his victory charge before he TP out. It was already like, what, six or five seconds for you? Yeah, yeah, you got a point. You got a point. I mean, uh, who knows, right? That extra second. Yeah. Oh, it's 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 looking pretty tough here though. And now the AM has quite a sizable lead. All of a sudden, seven thousand gold over the PA. <laughs> <Look at laughs> what is the? Where is he farming? He's uh, he's cutting the wood. I mean, you know, compared to compared to where he he was farming here fifteen minutes ago to where he's farming now, right? That's just that's amazing. There goes the ages. Yeah, but now that's the fine. point. Even if AM has a good game or has a bad game, whatever he's gonna be doing Radiance after the game, it's gonna be the same. He's gonna be farming hitting creeps. The blink out. The blink out. I think my move here. Yeah, indeed, they will. Good job. Didn't want to feed that Gemma set. What is going on here? We got the supports plus Abed here, just, uh, you know, sieging high ground. Don't mind them. In the meantime, everyone else on a wild puck chase. Uh, but there's the Abyssal Blade now completed. I saw a Reaver that must be for a Satanic, I'd imagine, on our AM. Let's have some fun. Hmm. I felt like AC would have been good because he's against a PA. Be here. Yep, okay. It'll satanic. be the thing. Satanic. It's Doom getting. Doom is getting. Like, Shiva's. Love the. I love the Solar Crest. I think that's. Uh, that's an item. Uh, three four three. Adam really turned me on to. He's like, ah, oh, just build Solar Crest. You know, it's a good item. Buff protect one. Your carry. Buff, buff your carry. Your carry. Yeah. Buy. Stay behind. You don't need to initiate. Just stay yep. behind. Buff yep. him. Wait for them to jump in. I like that item quite a bit. Uh, again, just patiently here, Geek Fam. Uh, they're, they're slowly starting to uh, to close the thread here, but you can see just from the positioning and hashtag, they're not really too willing to leave. I mean, look at that. Even PA Radiant having second down to farming that bottom wave because they got very little vision. We're going to show top. I don't think they have any vision. You see, there's no, not even one on the map. Yeah, yeah. I would not doubt it here. The nightfall will. No, I'm going to make it a little bit darker on that. A bit scarier here. What do you think? If, if you're Geek Fam, do you just you play it? I mean, you played it safe this far, right? You're going to be waiting for the Roche, set up some vision, get that second Aegis it's a, and it's, cheese. It's a good habit. Right, right. It is. I like like watching teams. You know, even they're playing like weaker opponents, but they still treat the game like any other game. Yeah. To play. Yeah. Oh, well, there goes Leaf. I mean, trying to do whatever you can, right? Trying to delay the game, cut the waves a little bit longer, but nearly getting cut by Carl in half. As again, a, a good blink out. A prize. And even picking up a few runes for their trouble. Not even more than a few, a couple. That's impressive stuff, twice already. I mean, of course, Puck, one of the more elusive here, especially with the boots of travel and a blink, but mm -hmm. good stuff to see. Wasting a little bit of time of Carl, but uh, not of Abed. He is just uh, a one-man farming yeah, machine. He sees the <laughs> yeah, he's he's satanic intro. Sees a, a free kill, and he's going to go for it. There we go, Carl, and said, "Oh shit, have it." Look at I've been hitting creeps the whole game. I want some change. I want some change. Yes. Can we hit the bigger creeps now, please? I want to essentially get him to this point here. Holy as well, we'll get the TP out now. Holy oh, he almost get, he got the puck. He was trying to look for the puck on the AM. Wow. That's incredible. Uh, Paladin Sword. I mean, that's so good with Satanic as well. I think maybe that's probably why he went for Satanic. What do you think? Is Paladin Sword enough for you to, to build Satanic? It's, it's also good against X, uh, the status resist, against the call, mm. lifesteal. I mean, everything is just good against X. It really is. Well, not everything. <laughs> Visage is really bad against X. Okay. It's All true. right, because you can kill the familiars? Well, because the familiars make him spin a million times. Damage high attacks. It's always going to be that one thing in Dota, you know, that's something that you don't think about. That's the beauty of it, right? 
that's the beauty of it. As again, Ogre out here breaking smokes. He's completely alone. Let's see, hashtag, will they recognize this? Like, I think they might know. Now they're going to get eyes on another support, but looks like the tanky Ogre, they're not even going to be able to kill him, actually. As everyone else is, is, they're still waiting for more. In the meantime, they actually have found the AM. Look at that, it's paid off. KMP finds the M. Oh, they've got both the M and the Doom. Wow. Okay, well, all of a sudden here, now Carl in some serious trouble. Michael there. Actually, the stun, but the remnant's already out. Silence up. Nowhere to go. And he will wow. die. Wow, how did the M actually die? I didn't happened. see that. I think he must have oh, gotten rapier. caught. rapier. They had a rapier. Oh, that'll do it. That's a rapier. That'll do it. And it, it's going to be a slow roach, luckily, here for Geek Fan. But uh, there we go. Pretty fast rapier as well. I mean, so I, he died in one. He got called by the axe, right? He must and he, have. And he just died. I, I, I literally didn't see him. He just deleted. He got deleted. That's yeah, his first. I, I felt like he, he he's gonna need an armor item right now, like a butterfly or AC. I think AC is Dyer really good. Just good overall. Oh, and gives you aura. Like, good, good patience there by hashtag. I was, I was saying that they've only been finding supports all game, and they played it very patiently that time. Maybe just fainting going in on the ogre, just so more heroes would show up, and then actually going on the reinforcements. Yeah. Good stuff. Now this game is a, it's a bit more scary. Now that's now that six second BKB seems a bit better, doesn't it? That one extra second, you never yeah, know, right? And your twenty five level, he has the mm. extra crit damage. Fortunately for hashtag though, and I really wish it would be a fast rush, but they're gonna be left waiting here for it seems like another minute or so. Yep, indeed. So I don't know if we give enough time here for them to respawn and, and try and prepare a defense. But already you can take a look at the wards that they placed down. That's a same ward in the exact same spot here, uh, just above the pit there, giving some great vision, uh, rotations there. I mean, it's, it's it's good stuff. Four wards, just, uh, just... Yeah, they know Roshan is going to be the next because they have a rapier. They yep. need to secure it the Rosh. Needs to, it needs to be it, yep. has been killed. Oh, that's their lifeline. They have to secure the Rosh. Kill there on the courier. Had the Shiva's recipe on it. Interesting. Not, it's not an insignificant item to be killing, although Doom is so far off of it, though. And actually, without buyback here on Cuckoo, so could be of some concern. Bought out for Holy Crest, maybe. Gonna go forever on their own. Nice position by Axe, though. He will break the smoke. Ward will be placed down, so already the vision being cut. Good patience, though, by uh, question oh, mark. Can find the ward this time? He should. That should scout it. And there goes Roche respawning. He gets it this time. Yeah, they're going to find it. And we'll cut plenty of vision now. All right, that's my new sentry spot. It's a good one, right? Yeah, I agree. <laughs> uh, especially if you're, if nice you're on one. Dire. You're on yeah, Dire. It's a very nice one. Mm -hmm. So already two D wards uh, is going to make it a bit easier, but great wrap around there. Is a server ward there. And who have they caught here? Oh, it's caught. Oh, yeah, no buyback. Okay, it's no buyback. That's dead for 90, but Roche, they don't do it nearly fast enough here, actually. Even with the Solar Crest, they have some difficulties. Uh, Carl without fast there. Oh, that's going to be the jump. Whoop, they caught one. Both supports here in some serious trouble. There's going to be the toss onto one. No it up will be Rubik, so they're going to have to kill him in a second. But there's the buyback, actually. Now, oh, it's Cuckoo. He, Cuckoo picked up a bounty rune. That gave Carl the buyback, but now uh, Rubik's still without buyback, so they're going to have to fight without Jeffrey if they decide to go for it now. But there's Cuckoo looking for a new target. He has found one. Oh, my God, he got blown up. That's a buyback. He got crippled, I think, by just one rapier. Yeah, he has to get out of here. Carl's gonna go down. That's gonna be a die back onto him. So you can doom up the PA, I guess, but good luck trying to actually get any serious damage onto her. Holy moly. Oh, they have. They need armor items right now. The PA is doing too, way too much damage. What the f just happened? It really is. That was, I mean, indeed. What, what the fuck just happened, that one? I mean, you, you, you pick up the bounty, you go in from behind. It looks like somewhat an ideal jump. You get the doom off, but it doesn't matter. I think this is what QO Dan and I were attack. talking about. You need uh, a, a hero that can Dyer's fight through a doom. And oh, fall. that's a hero that'll fight through the doom. Cannot. Uh, yeah, the rapier was a very, very huge turner in the fights. Yeah. They, they took a fight, they want to fight, they got Roche. Yeah, look at this. This is the fight game. game. I think it's over. Dyer's I think it's over as well. Let's see if that they should the know. Game. Yeah. They should know. They go through the top. This should be the game, especially with the. Uh, the, the neutral item, the leveler. See how, how much they want to push it. They're able to fortify out. I mean, they, they really do need Carl in this fight, though. I don't think Abed alone is going to be enough. 
Not without buyback, die back even. Does he have buyback on the end? He has to go and try and buy some time. He does have buyback now. He needs to buy some time. I agree with you here. At least one other wave or something. There we go. Ancient Crow jumping on it. On to the PA. Can they actually get the kill here? She does have the ages. Abed falling quite low to control. The full time multi is not enough. They're not going to get the dunk, but they will get him on his first life. As in they go straight for the throw. Finally, the official wave will be utilized here. But Michael still is. And they don't even care. The PA has one objective, and that is the Ancients. As we said, it's all about the